Um, so let's take Ganymede, for example, how thick its mantle would have been and how deep its ocean would have been and thickness variations and whatnot. That's still very much theoretical because it doesn't have geysers on Ganymede. So we can't say that it's an active ocean world. Um, we can only guess based on how the surface has been formed over the years. Um, and when I mean over the years, I don't mean like, oh, just last year or anything. No, I mean like in a span of um, thousands to millions of years. And so looking at like how, how our craters formed and how our, uh, how our fault systems all over Ganymede um, there's like light terrain versus dark terrain and the dark terrain has a bunch of craters. So we know that there's the oldest terrain and I uh, resurfacing with the lighter terrain. So Ganymede having that huge amount of volume compared to, compared to earth. Uh, so, uh, I'll bring up size comparison again though, but Ganymede's volume of water is the the length of this blanket uh, versus Earth. So volume of water wise. 